There's one. No. That's a good one. That's a good one. Dang. Dang, yeah. son. Oh my gosh, dude. What's happening, people? I'm out here today with my good friend, Madell, right here. You guys, today Madell and I, it is officially, we're approaching the dead of winter. And it is, we actually got a warmer day. It's like 60 degrees, nice and calm. But if you guys want some kind of local knowledge or just want to follow somebody in the region who's getting after it, check out Modell. Cloud Break Mods, right? Yeah, Instagram. that's it. Cloud Break Mods. Hopefully we can get on a big old striper. So we've got big old striper jigs. But you got a one ounce? Yeah. So anyways, y'all, that is the program. That's what's happening today. Nice little warmer warmer winter day we're just getting after it so if you guys are out there same thing then you guys shout out to all the people who are still fishing not winterizing your boats and hey if you guys are winterizing your boats and you're chilling not fishing hopefully these wintertime fishing videos are getting you guys stoked for when the weather gets warmer and just keeping you guys entertained throughout the winter time i'm gonna stop talking and you guys hopefully we're gonna start catching these fish we're gonna work this pier nice long dock i forgot my net dude it's in my truck he literally Madell, like he was like, he was like, uh, up at his house. I was like, hey, he's like, forget your net. first thing he said, he goes, you got your net? I was like, threw it in the truck already, bro. <laughs> Do you have a lipper? Whew. All right, so the trolling motor works today. That is a bonus. Always a good day when the trolling motor works. So this is it, you guys. This is the first spot we're going to try. We're going to do this really long dock. Um, there's a lot of cormorants, a lot of pelicans, a lot of life around here. Just gonna load up. Start with a quarter ounce jig head. Come on, Mr. Stripey. All right. First fish. That's on the one ounce, right? Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. All right, people, Medell's hooked up. First fish. And we don't have a net, because I forgot it. Trolling motor is turned off. How you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to hold the rod and? Yeah, I'll lift them. Okay. Oh. I know. Good. Yep. I got. Yep. Very good. There you go. Nice work, boy. Look at that. You guys, first five minutes. Look at that fatty. There he is, dude. Look at that high strike jig head hooking it up. There you go. Z-man on it. Yes, sir. That's a fatty dog. Yeah, it's fatty. You guys, go ahead. Please, please roast me. Madell, when he pulled up to my house, the first thing that he said, before he even said hey or anything, goes, did you bring the net? I said, dude, it's in the truck. I threw it in the net last night. Well, guess what? I forgot the net. It's in the truck back at the boat ramp. Old school. <laughs> Old school. Lipper. Dude. Sick. <laughs> nice work. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, how are you? You gotta be 200 yards uh, back pass away from the pier. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I'm trying to film a TV show <laughs> for YouTube. <laughs> I just got bumped. Come on. Nice. All right, y'all. Fish on, fish on. On the one ounce, <laughs> we're getting kicked off by the cops over here. But uh, hey, in the meantime, might as well catch us a little striper. We're having the boat police roll up on us and everything <laughs> while we're landing the striper. Little schoolie, y'all. Here it is. We're just catching these fun little, fun little striper. That's all we want to do. We don't want to cause any harm. We're not uh, being disrespectful or anything, so we're about to relocate, change some, uh, change our fishing uh, area. Go ahead and release this guy. <laughs> Get to another fishing spot. All right, y'all, just catch and release. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. There we go. 
Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. Absolutely love this. Coming out to a new spot, dialing in these fish. Dude, this is so sick. I don't care how big this is. pull off? No, you didn't. Trying right towards the boat. <laughs> I'll catch these guys all night and have a blast. Schoolie striper. Please and thank you. Yeah. Get in my boat. There we go. Y'all, that's what it's all about. Look at this. So fun. Bouncing around spot to spot. Haven't really been catching much, but you guys finally getting on these striper and it pays to just keep at it. So, you, you guys, that is a blast. Catch these guys all night long. There's one. No. That's a good one. That's a good one. Dang. Dang, yeah. son. Really good one. All right, y'all. On a nice size fish right here. Let me tighten my drag a little bit. Whoa, whoa, what's going on over there? I don't know what the heck this thing is, but it is working me. I think it's just hung. Yeah. Y'all, this is so fun. We're just working this drop off and these fish are just stacked on here. I can't even turn this guy. Oh, you're gonna turn him. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Dude. He's under. Yeah, I got him. Dude. So fun. This got me like bowed up on this little rod. <laughs> and I forgot the net, of course. Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy is just like working me all over the That's boat. Awesome. Yeah, it is. I love this man. Light action tackle. Show yourself. There he is. Good size. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can see if we can land this guy without a net. Solid fish, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a polymer knot on that guy either. I hate it because I got the clinch knot. Yes, sir. Yes, Took sir. That one deep. Nice. That's sick. That is so <laughs> sick. Yeah, boy. Dude. Nice work. Dude, that is so fun. So sick. All right, we're going to let this guy go. No. <laughs> no way, dude. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Medell just straight dropped it right at the boat. All right, I'm on. We're both on. Double. Yep, double. Is he running towards the boat? Yeah, he is running towards the boat. <laughs> Medell just dropped it right at the boat. My guy's running right at the boat. This is another gun. Dude, really, hurt. <laughs> really? That's another good one, dude. Dude, you're on it. Nice. Yeah. Solid. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can, uh, all right. Dude, doubled up. Dang, that is such a blast. It does not get any better than this. It doesn't. No, it this doesn't. is so fun. The best part was we had to hunt for him. Yeah. All right, y'all, one last look at that. 
Whew, man, that is awesome. All right, buddy. Peace out. All right, y'all, so there's just like, it's actually like two and a half feet deep up there and it's 40 feet deep right there. So what we're doing is we're throwing these like three quarter ounce jig heads and I've got sexy mullet Z-Man on and uh, 15 pound test. So just the three quarter ounce jig head, literally just casting it up current off, right on the drop off, just casting it up current, let it sink just for a little bit. And then we're just a slow, steady retrieve. You guys, I'm gonna tell y'all what, a lot of people, they apply like too much action or they they just try and force it when you just start like jigging too much. I'm not opposed to that, uh, but I'll tell y'all that just the slow, steady retrieve gets it done. Oh my gosh, this is such a blast. Just fishing this drop off right here. We are actually marking these fish on our electronics. Um, just a lot of like big bait balls and everything. Just out here in the middle of the wide open. We hadn't seen any bait balls or really any bait all day. And um, finally we just started marking a bunch. Definitely a lot of bass around here. But that's just what makes it like so fulfilling is this is Medell and I, this is like our first time fishing this area. And we drove quite a ways to come out here. And it's just so fulfilling when there's just like so much water and you can kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together and have a productive day. There's one. That's a fish. Nice. Dude, we are on them now. Medell, look, it's like casting straight at that channel marker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's where they're at, man. Oh, you guys, this is, I can do this all night. All night long. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? I don't think this guy even knew he was hooked. Absolutely love catching these striper. Look at this. On my little, like, pea shooter of a rod. Oh my gosh. Dude, so fun. I'll do this all night long. Let's see if I can boat flip this guy. All right. Dude, just one. fatties fatties <laughs> son <laughs> this is one of the most fun bites i've gotten into all winter long <laughs> can't even lie about it fat healthy striped bass i miss these guys for sure me too dang dude catch and release wish i could eat you All right, y'all, we're gonna change it up. Try a little pearl white action. I was getting bit on the sexy mullet. I don't know why I'm changing. And since we're striper fishing, you can only catch striper if you have Menhaden Procure scent. <laughs> they won't hit anything else. They won't hit blue crab scent. They won't hit, uh... <laughs> it's gotta be the Menhaden. It's so funny, dude. People are like, it's gotta be just the one type of scent can't be mullet can't be blue crap yeah exactly <laughs> you can totally see that tide line now or the like the drop off there's oh come on yep it was that scent man that's what it was i'm telling you T try it <laughs> First cast with the Minhaden said he came back for it. Dang. Come on, boy. Dang, this is so fun. This is probably my second biggest one of the day. Pretty. 
Oh, it's fatty. Such a fatty. It's that scent, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Look at that thing. That is sick. Y'all, that's my biggest bass of the year. Oh my gosh, dude. That is so sick. <laughs> These are those like schooly striped bass that we go for, you guys. Nothing giant, but that is a quality, quality striped bass, especially on light action tackle. And I'm telling you, dude, it was the Menhaden Pro Cure. <laughs> Came back for it twice. All right. Whew. Dude, catch and release. Doesn't get much better than this right here. That is, rolling. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, put this guy back. Oh my gosh. That is so, so fun. All right, buddy. See you later. Another one. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are officially slay status today on these striper. I can boot flip this guy. <sighs> well, good thing we got away from the uh, machine gun turret boats and came up here. That's, it's so funny when you hear people who like don't understand fishermen and they're like, I'm gonna tell y'all what, them fishermen, they go out there, they spend all this time, all this money, they catch a fish and then they throw it right back in the water. I just don't get it. That's like that farmers only commercial city folk just don't get it. There was a time where I probably would have said that. Yeah. I probably did say that. Yep. Oh, yeah, I spent thousands of dollars for a fish. I'll just go buy it at the store. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are, the dead of winter time, just <laughs> sitting there, just yep, doing the same thing. Fish. One. Yeah. Oh. All right, y'all, a little sunset, sunset striper. I don't know if y'all can even see this on my GoPro or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dang, boy. Dude, you're on Sunset striper. That'll get me through winter for sure. No problem. All right, y'all, that right there, that's a wrap. <laughs> Medell, you guys, Cloud Break Mods, check them out on Instagram. Y'all, that right there is just, that will get me through winter time, no problem. It's January, we're out here catching these fish in a brand new fishery to us. And uh, that's a wrap, y'all. Dang it. All right. See you later, dude. You're right.